inside each evaporating basin, I have methanol. Methanol is highly flammable. I've got my emergency blanket close, and the original container that the methanol was in is in my fire cabinet in the back room. So there's no danger there. Methanol is also poisonous. That's why I've got gloves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put different compounds into each of these evaporating basins. And then I'm going to set them on fire, and we're going to see different colors coming from each compound. And the reason for that is each compound has got a particular metal in it, and each metal has got a different electron structure. And different electron structures are indicated by different colors, because electrons are being excited from the energy from the fire as the methanol burns. Those electrons are jumping to higher energy levels. When they go back down from their excited state to their ground state, they release light. If we looked at this with a spectroscope, we'd see definite lines of color. We could uh, really identify these metals, but we'll see that each of these colors are actually different. We'll start with sodium chloride. And we've got some boric acid, which is actually cockroach poison. We've got copper chloride, strontium chloride, And lithium chloride, hygroscopic, which means it absorbs water, so it's a little bit wet. That's just because of the water that it's absorbed. I'm just going to stir them up a little bit, making sure I do not mix up the spoons. So. There's our sodium chloride solution now with methanol. Boric acid solution. And then lithium chloride solution. We'll start with sodium chloride. A little bit of green there. But the dominant color. is orange. There's our boric acid. Copper chloride. You can see these are both green, but they are slightly different colors of green. Strontium chloride. And lithium chloride. Both lithium and strontium are red, but if you look closer, you can see they are different, different colors of red. I'm going to switch the lights on and we all get a slightly different perspective. So you can still see the colors, not as clearly though. There's our sodium. There's our boron. It's copper. It's 
Strontium. And lithium. So we actually call this a flame test. 